Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and in a surprising move, Apple has released the first beta of iOS 17.3, just a day after the release of iOS 17.2 to the public. Now we actually thought that we will have to wait for 2024 to see another update from Apple, but it looks like they wasted no time and they have released the first beta of iOS 17.3, which I believe could be a really, really important update for iOS users. And we're gonna talk about why in a few minutes here, but first of all, let's take a look at this update and see what it's all about. So here's the update iOS 17.3 beta and it will come to your device at around six gigs of course it will be different on different devices but of course it's quite large since it's beta one but with the next betas it should go down and it will be much smaller in size taking a look at the new build number for iOS 17.3 here we can see the new build number is 21 d 5026 f which indicates by the letter, the last letter right there, it indicates that we will probably have another four betas before we move to the RC version and then of course the final release of iOS 17.3. We're gonna talk about the release as well here after we take a look at what's new with this update. Now, one of the most important features of this update will be a security feature that Apple has implemented on iOS 17.3 and it's called stolen device protection. You can turn it on right here by going to your face ID and passcode. So what this does, it basically adds another layer of security to your iPhone and it says, right here when your iPhone is away from familiar locations like your home or your work face ID or touch ID is required to access certain features of iOS so this feature will work again with your face ID or touch ID depends on which device you have and actions that will require face ID and touch ID to authenticate before you can use them are viewing and using passwords and pass keys that are saved on keychain and then of course applying for a new apple card turning off lost mode erasing all content and data on your iphone so when you go to this screen for example where you can erase your iphone you won't be able to do this without having to authenticate with your face id or touch id this is basically to protect your device from being completely erased so it's really really important also using payment methods saved on safari and using your iphone to be set up as a new device so your iphone won't be able to, to be set up as a new device when it's far away from these locations without being actually confirmed by face id or touch id there are other actions that will require face id and touch id to authenticate and have an one hour delay security delay when the feature is turned on changing your apple id password also updating your apple id things like security settings including adding or removing removing trusted devices to your apple id changing your iphone passcodes adding or removing face ids and touch ids all these will have a one hour delay when they are further from these locations so again an amazing move by apple adding this really really important security layer to iphones the ability to collaborate on your playlists on Apple Music has been added to the betas of iOS 17.2, but actually Apple did remove that feature from iOS 17.2 and it didn't make it to the public release. But now it's back with 17.3 and it's even better because now we also have reactions on playlists. So when you have a playlist that you have collaborated with someone and there are songs, of course, when you're listening to a song that has been added to that playlist, you will now have the ability here to actually react to that song. So it's really cool here, add that reaction and it actually has a pretty cool animation. Another minor change here for the weather app, when you're viewing the cards on the weather app and there's a rain, it will also show the raindrops here on the card, which makes it look really nice. So just a nice UI touch there for the weather app. Now, as you can see right here, there are not a lot of new features and changes on iOS 17.3. As far as beta one goes, probably there will be more with the second beta, but this might be a really important update as I talked about at the beginning of the video. Now, what's really important about this update is that we know that Apple is bringing sideloading to iOS 17. That will happen for EU users probably that will be limited only to eu users and it should come very very soon so according to eu laws apple has to actually allow this by march 2024 
which means that Apple has just under three months to actually implement this feature to iOS. And this might very well correspond with the release of iOS 17.3 to the public that's why i believe actually apple should add this feature the side loading for eu users with ios 17.3 so just taking a quick look here at the schedule so if we go to the calendar we have here beta 1 of ios 17.3 and i don't expect to see any new betas this year so most likely we will see the first beta somewhere around the first week of January so you can see right there from the next week we're going into the holiday season don't expect any new betas or any new releases from Apple but I would expect Apple to actually release the second beta of iOS 17.3 most likely somewhere around the end of the first week of January or the beginning of the second week which means that based on the build number of the first beta we will have four other betas now we have to wait and see if apple will go with the weekly schedule or two week schedule with the first betas but i believe they will go on the weekly schedule once they release beta 2 somewhere probably around here the 8th or the 9th of january and you can expect other betas here and here and here before apple releases the rc version and then the public release of iOS 17.3 most likely somewhere around the mid of February. That's when I believe Apple should release iOS 17.3 to the public. It will be a really important update. Most likely will also have the feature to allow side loading for EU users on iPhones. Unfortunately, for other users, other regions, this won't be available for now. Let's wait and see if Apple will make a move and actually allow side loading for all the users around the world and now let's move on and talk about performance well as you can see right here we have the geekbench score the geekbench 6 for iOS 17.3 and it is looking amazing it's just beta 1 and we have this great score which is an improvement over iOS 17.2 which i've said over and over again that has a great performance now you can see the single core score there at 2962 most likely with the next beta we'll go above 3000 right there and then the multi core score the best i ever got on my iphone 15 pro max here 7423 which makes this a great update again i was 17 since the beginning has been amazing in performance always amazing scores with ios 17 and of course 17.3 is the same is looking really really good as I just said, when we talked about the side loading part, I wouldn't expect Apple to release any new betas this year. Most likely January, the first week, first 10 days of January should be the time when we get the second beta of iOS 17.3, of course, with the release coming somewhere around mid-February. But in meanwhile, we will most likely have other updates. iOS 17.2.1 should come out, even though I don't expect it to come out this year. Most likely that will be somewhere around mid-January there are still a lot of bugs and improvements that Apple needs to add to iOS which of course will come with smaller updates as usual that don't bring new features but are designed strictly to fix those problems with iOS so I would expect another update to come somewhere around mid-January to fix some bugs and issues that iOS users are facing with iOS 17. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, a really nice update, really great to have this new feature called the stolen device protection feature with iOS 17.3, it adds a really, really needed security layer to the iPhone. So that's great. And of course, side loading most likely should be a part of this update as well, but we'll have to wait and see for that. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you on the next one.